In previous videos, we have covered the requirement for name badges in your office and uh, how important it is for those who have direct interaction with patients uh, to have the appropriate name badges, names, and credentials attached to those uh, name badges as well. Well, today we're going to talk about a, a bit broader of requirements uh, that, are, that are required under the Truth in Healthcare Professional Services Act. Uh, this act is specific to anyone who, uh, who in your office or, or who treats human ailments and is also subject to licensure in the state uh, or is a student. I'll talk about students later, but really what we want to focus on are those in your offices uh, that are, one, uh, treating patients, and two, licensed in this state. There is a specific requirement that, uh, uh, that each of them uh, meet a few obligations. The first is this, and this is really, really important. Any advertising that you do at all, whether it be your website, social media, print advertising, radio, television, whatever, where uh, uh, someone who in your office who is licensed is either featured, mentioned, uh, uh, listed, shown, uh, they have to include, you have to include not just their name, but also their credentials for their license in Illinois. Uh, this should be the initials that come after their name, for example, DC for Doctor of Chiropractic, or exactly who they, who they are and what they do in your office. So uh, maybe it's licensed massage therapist, or for physicians, of course, it's a chiropractic physician. So those ha are required elements for all of your advertising, regardless of what it is. You want to make sure that you meet that. Uh, specifically talked about in the, again, the Truth in Healthcare Professional Services Act. Um, so anybody who treats human, human conditions um, and who is licensed in the state, that's who this applies to. So one, advertising. Two is also you want to make sure that you have a written description, if you will, a written display in your office uh, that, that includes their name and also their credentials and what license uh, that they have. So this again, licensed massage therapist, it would be uh, you know Jane Smith, comma, LMT, or licensed massage therapist, if, you, if you're considering to be a licensed massage therapist in your office. Uh, much like you would do for a chiropractic physician. So, as, and now this is really important as well. It has to be in a conspicuous location. Uh, you can't just meet uh, uh, the requirements of this law by sticking uh, a notification or a listing in your break room. That doesn't count. Uh, that's not something that's conspicuous to all of the patients. So you want to make sure that you have that. Uh, typically, you want to put it in your waiting room or in a standard room that this person would treat in, um, and make sure that it's that it's clearly listed. And so that that is really important as well. Uh, last is name badges, and we've covered all of that uh, in the past, and so you want to look at that video to, to walk through exactly what all of that looks like, um, but again, their name and their credentials have to be on name badges. So we have any advertising you do at all, uh, their name badges, uh, their office display, uh, as we talked about in writing. Now, what if you have multiple offices? Yes, you have to include all of this information in each one of your different locations. You can't just put it in your primary location and say, good enough. It actually has to be in every single one of the locations uh, that, uh, that you have someone who is licensed, uh, who is treating people uh, and, and their name and their credentials in each one of those locations. Um, and, and also advertising as it relates to any of those. And again, what does that advertising include? This is a really big one because I see this mistake all of the time. Make sure that your website is up to date. That's the biggest one because that's the easiest one to, to miss, right? Um, uh, postings on social media, any kind of advertisement that you're really doing for patient outreach um, and uh, advertising, that, that also counts. Uh, print advertising, radio advertising, television, whatever you're doing, just make sure that you're properly identifying the people. And here's, here's why. Is one is it's a violation. And then what does that look like? Okay, so it's a single violation. No, actually it's a violation for every single day. Every single day that that's listed can be considered a separate violation. So if you do it for a year, it's 365 different um, uh, different violations. So the easiest thing to do is just take a few minutes over the lunch today and, and, and review your website, review your social media, and make sure that everybody who's licensed uh, and who is doing patient care treatment in your office is properly listed with their name and their credentials. Uh, now, students, I mentioned that at the very beginning. What does that look like? Well, if you happen to be working directly with a, a chiropractic college and, and, you're, and you're working under the auspices and you have a student in your office, you also, who is providing patient care, by the way, you want to make sure that they are also listed 
just like that, uh, that they're a chiropractic student. Uh, and that is really important. So you'd list their name and that they're a chiropractic student. The student has to be emphasized. You want to make sure that that is included. That is very important, uh, specifically called out in the Truth and Healthcare Professional Services Act uh, uh, that, that, that that's required. So the biggest thing is this, is, is just make sure the students have the appropriate name badge that lists them as a chiropractic student. Uh, or if you have uh, students of other licenses in your office that you're, uh, that you're working through, maybe uh, their preceptor uh, requirements or their hours requirements uh, in conjunction with their training and their schooling uh, and there's specific rules for that for chiropractic physicians check with the ICS first before you uh, before you head down that road hopefully all of this helps you out um, but take your time today take the time today to go through all of your advertising to make sure that you're hitting all the high marks and uh, listing everyone in your office who's doing patient care uh, and listing them correctly we'll catch you next week